get some tea? Right? So, what a khullah or a friend that you will have, he will have it and he will give it to you. Fayumkinan yakunu laka sadiqan that you have possibly a friend to the ilayhi, he will go to him. Fayu'atika mimma indahu and he will give you and have a share with you of that which he has. He will have a share with you. Walakin, he say, but, لا يوجد خلة يوم القيامة يوم القيامة there will be no friend that will give you from his deeds if you're not going to give your deeds to your son I'm sure you're not going to give it to your friend Abu Ibrahim أليس كذلك if you're not going to give your, your deeds to Ahmed I'm very sure you're not going to give it to Abu, Abu Asma there is no doubt about this. Yes, you love him. You love your son too dearly. You ain't going to give him your deeds. So without a doubt, you ain't going to give it to your friend. Just because he was your friend. He is your son. You ain't going to give it to him. What makes you think that you're going to give it to your friend? Yawm al ain't no friend that will give you your, his good deeds. Because he's ready to ransom his whole village for him to be free from the hellfire. He is ready to take his whole village to dump them in a hell fire for him to be safe. If he is ready to take the whole city to dump them in a hell fire for so himself to be safe, he is ready for that. He will dump his father and then mother first just for he can be safe in a hell fire. So do you think he will give you his good deeds? Wala khullatun. And these are the verses we read it, we contemplate upon this. Wala khullatun. And the Shafidahullah he say, Wala yanfa'uka ahad, wala kana sadiquka. He say, nobody will benefit you yawm al qiyamati. Even if he is your very good friend. Even if he is your very good friend. Sometimes in this life you have a, you can imagine people that your friend, literally, they they can they are ready to to really sacrifice themselves for you. They might give you their last. Walau kana bihim khasasa. Even if they have this great need, but they will let you have it. But yawm al qiyam that's another ball game. It's a different ball game, truly. Allahumma sallim sallim. Allahumma sallim sallim as Imam Ahmed rahimahullah used to supplicate. So he mentioned walakin walakin rubama yushfa laka ahad Allahu Akbar. It's beautiful. He say now here is this you don't have money and your friend don't have it but somebody else have it. But you can have someone that intercede for you to have it. Because you don't have a good rapport with Adam. And Adam has what it needs. So I go to Abu Asma. Abu Asma, I need this. Can you ask Adam to help aid me in this? Right? Because Adam has a good rapport with Asma. He say, Akhi, you know, alhamdulillah, the brother, man, he need this. You know, please aid him. May Allah aid you. He say, no problem. So here, it is possible in this life. Look, I don't have no sugar though. But let me check on the neighbor. How many times a brother will call you, Akhi, I need this. You say, Akhi, I don't have it. I don't know it. But let me check for you. Akhi, I don't have it or I don't know. But let me check for you. Or I will inquire for you. So they say, Warubama, sometime maybe, that he will plead for you. He will plead for you. So therefore, Fayata wassata laka. Kama fi dunya. And he will be barakallah fikum set himself as an intermediary. Tayyip between you and that which you want. So he will allow you to have it. Wahada aidan ghayru mawjud yawm al qiyamati. Like this also, it is not there yawm al qiyamati. Likewise, this is not present yawm al qiyamati. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Wala shafa'atun. And there will be no intercession for them also. 
So Shaykh Salaf Fawdar Hafidhu Allah say, إِذَا تَقَطَّعَتْ عَنْكَ كُلَّ وَصَائِلْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامِ If all the means has been cut off, they all have been cut off, Barakallahu Feekum for you. وَلَيْسَ لَكَ And you don't have no tricks that you can, you can, you can pull. إِلَّا إِذَا كَانَ مَعَكَ عَمَلُ الصَّالِحِ قَدِمْتَهُ لِنَفْسِكَ Accept the righteous actions. All the means has been cut off. يوم القيامة. No خلة. No first story. بارك الله فيكم. لا بيع فيه. There is no wealth or no buying and selling يوم القيامة. ولا خلة and there is no no friends. ولا شفاء and there will be no intercession in regard to that. So he say all these things has been cut off. And there is no tricks you can pull for your salvation on that day. He say, except, illa except, actions, righteous actions that you have put forth for you. Except righteous actions that you have put forth for you, yawm al-qiyamati. Wa a'adhamu dhalika. The greatest, the greatest among the greatest righteous actions that a person can put. The greatest among the righteous action a person can put forth يوم القيامة is التوحيد والسلامة من الشرك is to single out Allah and to free yourself completely free yourself from shirk not going to the marabu man not going to the root worker not going to the juju man, not going to the to the uh, to the magician, not going to the palm reader, not going to the ball reader, crystal ball reader, not going to any of these individual, or having a belief that so and so can do something for me that only Allah can do. Whether they will give you like a amulet to put on your on your arm. Or they will put a, they give you an amulet that you're going to put on your waist. Or they will give you a ring that you're going to put on. Or they will give you a bracelet that you're going to put on. Or they will give you like a water that you're going to take a shower with. Or they will give you a powder that you're going to put on the, on, the char, on, the, on the oven. Or they will give you like a, a, a talisman that you're going to put in your wallet. Or they will give you a horn that you're going to put in your car. Or they will give you a coral and a shell that you're going to place under your dash. None of this barakallahu feekum. As-salamatu min shirk To free yourself from anything that has to do with shirk. Whether it is asghar, the minor shirk, or the major shirk. This is the greatest righteous action a person can do. To free himself from shirk. To ascribe to the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even if his actions are qalil. Even if his actions are very small. He will make it to the jannah. But the person doing shirk. Even if his actions are big, it will turn to be dust. No benefit. So this is an important issue that the Shaykh Hafizullah mentioned. وَلِذَلِكَ قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ This is why Allah Jalla Ala mentioned in Surah Zukhruf, verse number 86. وَلَا يَمْلِكُ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ الشَّفَاعَةِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَهِدَ بِالْحَقِّ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ the Shaykh Hafizahullah, he mentioned this verse in Surah Zukhruf, verse number 86, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said what can be translated to mean, وَلَا يَمْلِكُ وَلَا يَمْلِكُ They don't have no power. Who? الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ الشَّفَاعَةِ Those they are calling besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't have no power over the intercession. Those that they are calling besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those that they invoke instead of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. None of them have power for intercession. None of them have power of intercession. He say, إِلَّا مَنْ شَهِدَ Except those who shahida. Shahida bear witness bilhaq. I'm going to leave bilhaq. وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ While they have knowledge. 
Shahida bil haq witness to al haq Shah Sara Fawdan he say it mean ayyi qala la ilaha illa Allah saying la ilaha illa Allah fit dunya in this life wa mata alayha and he died upon la ilaha illa Allah he said it and he died upon it tayyib la ilaha illa Allah Maybe you should revise La ilaha illallah real quick. How many pillars of La ilaha illallah? Yusuf. Pillars of La ilaha illallah. Pillars. Pillars. Pillars, Abdullah. Pillars. Pillars, pillars, pillars. Isma'u li su'al. Pillars. Two. Two. There are two pillars of La ilaha illallah. Abba Asma. an nafi wal ithbat an nafi wal ithbat an nafi wal ithbat you got the negation and the affirmation without this there is no la ilaha illallah so therefore this is a refutation against the sufi because they either do only an nafi or they only do a ithbat. You will hear them say, La ilaha. And in some of our languages, this is something that sometimes we got to correctify ourselves. Yes. Right? In some of our language, when somebody is, and they don't even say it in right. We have heard few brothers that say, that say look, even the way you say it isn't right. They say, La jila. This is not correct. This is khata. Or la ila. This is, this is very wrong. Because you're saying there is no deity to be worshipped. No worship. That's what is, is. Is that correct? No, no, it's, not. it's not correct. Because it's incomplete. So therefore, this is a statement that we got to be careful upon saying it. Abdullah. Right? You heard it before, right? He would say la ila. Right? right so, but it's not correct. We say la ilaha. Illa Allah. But not la ila or la jila and stuff like that. It's not correct. Barakallah. And you hear this is like some, some, something that is stick in some of the people's tongue. Whenever they have something that they amazed by, they say la jila. That's it. It's not correct. Because you're saying that there is none to be worshipped, even Allah. But rather we say la ilaha illa Allah. Negation first, la ilaha, and then you affirm illa Allah. The Sufi, they either say La ilaha, right? Or they say Allah, Allah, Allah. And sometimes they will cut it short, who, who, like, like barking dogs. Right? Like a wolf or something like this. But rather, La ilaha illa, illa Allah. There is none to be worshipped but Allah. So we say two pillars. How many conditions, Abdullah? Yes, how many conditions? Hada yuhfad. This is something to be memorized. Sulaiman. Six conditions. Six. Okay, go ahead. Look at it. No, this is something that we memorize, man. In our sleep, we say it. First of all, the number is not right. How many conditions, Yusuf? Sit in the tomorrow class. Seven. Yeah, how many? Yes, seven or eight. Very good. Seven or eight. This is to be memorized, man. This is not something that, you know, this is you they wake you up at eight o'clock in the in the morning or five o'clock in the morning. Condition of la ilaha illallah, bam. No hesitation. And there is no excuse for no one barakallah. Number one. Knowledge, number two. Yaqeen, number three. <laughs> go ahead, Abbas. Ma'am. Ma I don't know. Oh, Mahabba, yes, go ahead. Yes. Al Ikhlas. Sidq. Yes, Al Ilm. Inqiyad. Al 